Hey YouTube, welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host, Michael Mello. You guys had a lot to say about some of Hollywood's forbidden coworkers who just can't work together for the life of them. So we decided to make a part two video just for you. But before we get started, I got an Instagram and I'm pretty sure you got an Instagram so you know what you gotta do. You gotta go follow at Top 10 Beyond the Screen where you can find funny exclusive like this photo of Joss right here. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button and turn on your notifications so you never miss another beyond the screen video. Don't worry, I'm gonna wait for you to follow us on Insta and subscribe to us right now. I'm waiting. Cool. Now that that's done, let's get into part two of top 10 actors who are forbidden from working together. Starting off our list is Meryl Streep and Dustin Hoffman. Now it's almost impossible to think that Meryl Streep could dislike anyone, but apparently she can. While on set of their film Kramer vs. Kramer, which the two starred in in 1979, Dustin Hoffman crossed the line while shooting with Meryl. During one of their first scenes together, without her prior approval, Hoffman slapped Meryl across the face during the scene. Although the scene is meant to be a very heated scene, the slap was never scripted and was seen as uncalled for. In an interview around the time allegations about Dustin Hoffman's misconduct arose, she said, When you're an actor, you're in a scene. You have to feel free. But this was my first movie, and it was my first take in my first movie. And he just slapped me. And you see it in the movie. It was overstepping, she added. But I think those things are being corrected in this moment. Since this, the two have had an odd tension amongst each other. Anne Hathaway and James Franco come in at number nine. After being recognized as two of the worst Oscar hosts in recent history, it seems their disastrous host hosting gig has led them to completely disliking each other. When Franco appeared on the Howard Stern show, Howard began to speak negatively about Hathaway, to which Franco did not come to her defense. All he said was, I'm not an expert on they're called Hatha haters, but I think that's what triggers it, referring to Anne Hathaway coming across too scripted. He also confessed that the two haven't talked since the Oscars, which alludes to their dislike for one another. Number eight, Nicole Kidman and Julia Roberts. Two of Hollywood's most powerhouse actresses worked together on the set of the movie The Secret in Their Eyes. But I guess when you have two big stars in one room, it's a lot to handle. A report from the National Enquirer said that the few started because Julia hated the way Nicole treated the crew. Apparently Kidman acted like the crew members were servants and didn't talk to them except to issue commands. While Julia made sure to learn everyone's first name and made a point of being friendly, she even surprised a makeup artist on set by singing happy birthday to her on her birthday. Now fun fact, but one time when I was working at a film festival I actually got to meet Julia Roberts and she was very polite and even introduced herself as Julia as if I didn't realize she was Julia Roberts. So with that in mind, I kind of believe that these reports about Nicole Kidman are kind of true, considering how nice Julia Roberts is. After this report broke out, however, Nicole has had no interest in starring alongside Julia Roberts ever again. At number seven, we have Ariana Grande and Jeanette McCurdy. Now before she was a mega pop star, Ariana Grande was a Nickelodeon actress. Similar to Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, and Selena Gomez, who were Disney stars respectively, Ariana began releasing music while still acting acting in children's shows. Her first single, The Way, dropped while she was playing Cat Valentine in the show Sam and Cat alongside Jeanette McCurdy. The two were extremely close friends at the beginning of the show, but they slowly but surely began to butt heads, especially once Jeanette found out how much more Ariana Grande was being paid compared to her. Once Sam and Cat was canceled, Jeanette starred and produced her own web series show, to which she made a bully-like airhead character, to which several fans pointed out must represent Ariana Grande. Although there was bad blood between them, McCurdy recently said in an interview that her and Ariana fought in a sisterly way, but it's all just love now. Coming in at number six, Terry Hatcher and Marika Cross. You would think after working alongside each other for eight seasons of Desperate Housewives that you'd become decent friends with your co-stars. Well, apparently that is not the case for Terry Hatcher and Marika Cross. The two actresses played best friends, but were far from it in real life. Tensions have always been high between these two, but things got extremely heated during their Vanity Fair shoot when Cross became angry that Hatcher was front and center. The two disliked each other so much that Marika left Terry's name off her goodbye gift that she gave at the end of the series. Yikes. But talk about some good acting considering their on-camera friendship seemed pretty real. It seems like Terry wasn't really loved by any of her castmates, with Eva Longoria describing her as a loner in a recent interview. At the halfway point with Lena Headey and 
Jerome Flynn. Now that Game of Thrones is over, we are being served all the tea about the behind the scenes lies of some of the actors. Lena and Jerome dated before Game of Thrones aired in 2011, but post breakup, Lena requested that scenes be carefully planned so the former lovebirds wouldn't have to be in the same room together. Talk about petty. Sources claim that she appeared to have a genuine hate towards him. They kept their bitter feelings quiet over the last eight years, but things were always very awkward on set. Neither of the two actors have ever made a public statement about their dislike for one another, but considering we don't see them interact much in Game of Thrones, it's pretty safe to assume these accusations are true. Blake Lively and Leighton Meester take our number 4 spot. Welcome back Upper East Siders. One of my many sources claim that actress playing best friends Blake Lively and Leighton Meester may have fooled us all by playing best friend duo Blair and Serena. But when the cameras are off, the claws are out as these two don't get along in real life. The pair have not been seen together since they're so wrapped up and rumor has it they refuse to talk about one another in interviews. That's all I gotta say about that. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Number 3, Preston Brooke and Isaiah Washington. It's no secret that Grey's Anatomy is television's hottest show with 13 years on the air and counting. Although it's compelling and twist turning storylines have made fans laugh and cry, it's the behind the scenes drama that really gets us going. Rumors surface that Isaiah Washington, who at the time played Dr. Preston Brooke, had used a homophobic slur against his co-star T.R. Knight during an argument. The whole situation was unpleasant as Knight had not yet publicly come out. He spoke on the Ellen DeGeneres show to say, I've never been called that to my face. Washington then backfired claiming that he never called TR a homophobic slur, but it was too late as a showrunner had decided to write him off completely. The two actors have not spoken since this incident. Coming close to the end with Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall at number 2. Before Game of Thrones, HBO was pumping out shows like Sex in the City. The show was a massive success and saw two hit movies that were met with great reviews. Two of the shows show stars Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall played on screen best friends Carrie and Samantha. But similar to other actors playing best friends on our list, in real life the two resented each other. The two drifted due to Kim's dislike that Sarah was getting paid double what the other cast members were being paid, while Sarah was upset that Kim's character Samantha seemed as the show's fan favorite instead of her own. In the end, Sarah Jessica Parker told Marie Claire, sometimes feelings get hurt. And in recent news, the franchise tried to get all actresses on board for a Sex and the City 3 movie. However, Kim Cattrall refused and she said she wants nothing to do with Sarah Jessica Parker, leaving fans of the show heartbroken. Last but not least, in at the number one spot is Ariana Grande and Victoria Justice. Now you gotta admit, it takes a certain type of person to make our list twice in just one video. But as much as I love Ariana Grande, her feud with Victoria Justice is notorious. From the I think we all sing meme that has gone viral in recent years, it was very clear from the get go of Nickelodeon's Victorious, a show that was written specifically for Victoria Justice, that Ariana Grande was the better singer of the two. Although the show received great reviews and ratings, it was mysteriously cancelled after four seasons. Many fans blamed Grande, who had just announced she would star in Sam and Cat alongside Victorious, scheduling her time between both shows as the same character. However, after receiving many hateful comments, she took to Twitter to say, the only reason Victorious ended is because one girl didn't want to do it. She chose to do a solo tour instead of doing a cast tour. If he had done a cast tour, Nickelodeon would have ordered another season of Victorious, while Sam and Cat filmed simultaneously, but she chose otherwise. I'm sick of this BS. Victoria Justice tweeted back saying, some people would throw someone they considered a friend under the bus to make themselves look good. Hashtag stop being a phony. Hashtag if they only knew. Although there have been brief cast reunions on social media of the main cast of Victorious having sleepovers or seeing each other at the Nickelodeon Awards, sources say Grande and Justice are civil but are far from friends. Recently Grande dropped her music video Thank You Next which had cameos from all female leads of the show Victorious minus Victoria Justice. So it's safe to say these two hold some bad blood still. And with that I bid you a Thank you next. We've reached the end of our list. This has been the top 10 actors who are forbidden from working together part 2. Are you surprised by this list? Let me know in the comment section below. Leave me something fun so I can respond to your comments in my next video. And speaking of comments, it's time for me to respond to your comments from part 1. Kyle Thomas says, part 2? Question mark. Lena and Jerome are ex-partners and have a contract where they can't be in a scene together. Good tip Kyle, I totally took notice of this and I appreciate you throwing me this list so I put them on the list for you. So I hope you're watching. Diamond Eye says, this guy is cute.
Thank you. Last but not least, Hellraiser929 said, no offense, but Patrick Swayze isn't co-starring with anyone. He's recently deceased with no intention of making a comeback. Look, you're very right. I just wanted to point out the rumors for when they did work together that they didn't get along, but RIP to the amazing Dirty Dancer slash actor. Thanks for watching this video. As always, subscribe, turn on your notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me and Top 10 Beyond the Screen on social media. And until next time, my name is Michael Mello. Have a great day.